YouTube, it's Missy, and today I'm here to share with you guys my Vlogmas Day 10, which will be a bookshelf tour of my son's middle grade books, aka my <laughs> middle grade books. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so here is an overview of his bookshelf. As you can see, he has the Wings of Fire series, the first six. The seventh book comes out um, this month for the book seven. There are nine books altogether. The ninth book also comes out this year, I believe, but I wanted them all to match, so I have to wait until they're all on paperback. But the seventh book comes out on paperback this year, so that will be exciting. Dragnet Prophecy, The Lost Heir, Hidden Kingdom, The Dark Secret, The Brightest Night, and Moon Rising, all by Sue T. Sutherland. Next we have the rest of his Dragon Book series. This one's called The Dark Stalker. This is a spin-off to The Wings of Fire, but this is The Legends. Then we have the first book in the Chronicle of the Imaginarium Ge Geographica called Here There Be Dragons by James A. Owen. And then I found these books at the library bookstore. This is called Firestar by Chris Delancey. This is book three. And we have The Fire Eternal. This is book four. My son did read the first one, so I told him if he didn't like it, I would um, see if he wanted to read the second one, and then I could just give these two away if he didn't want to keep the series. But there's that. And the last dragon book we own is called The Door in the Dragon's Throat. This is a Copper Kids Adventure Series book by Frank Peretti. Next we have a couple of um, paperback stories. The first book in the Land of Stories called The Wishing Spell by Chris Colfer. Three Times Lucky by Sheila Turnage. This is book two of the same series. This is The Ghost of Tupela Landy. This is a uh, an arc of Masterminds by Gordon Corman. I got this from uh, I got this from Goodreads and I had my son read it but he didn't finish it. So we'll see. I'll probably pick it up later. I don't really like um, superhero books. And this book my son got in his subscription box to Nerd Block Jr. and this is called The Terrible Two by Jory John and Mac Barnett and illustrated by Kevin Cornell. So there are some pictures in here. This thing on this shelf is my son's giant uh, Lego ideas book to unlock his imagination. The What If book by Randall Munro. He really, really likes that book. Um, it's just got some, it's got questions like, what if this happened? What if this happened? And he's one of those question and answer seekers. So he really likes that. And then a bag of marbles. He never plays with them. They're just decoration. On to the second shelf. So the first book we have here is The Aviary by Kathleen O'Dell, The Creature Department by Robert Paul Weston, Gobbled by Gorks, the sequel to The Creature De Department by Robert Paul Weston, Flights, Chimes, and Mysterious Times by Emma Trevain. I read this last year and loved it. The Peculiar by Stephen Bach, The Whatnot by, St I think it's Stefan, Stefan, Stefan. Stefan. Maybe it's Stefan. Stefan Bachman. My son read these two books. And the next books we have here are the Hero's Guide books. This is a trilogy. Hero's Guide to Saving Your Kingdom. The second book is Storming the Castle. And the third book is Being an Outlaw. My son read all three of these books and absolutely loved them. I really like the covers. There is... There are a few illustrations, not that many. The next three books are also a trilogy by Cornelia Funk. This is Ink Heart, Ink 
spell Ink Death. The next two books are a duology and another fairy tale series. We have Storybound by Marissa Burt and Stories End by Marissa Burt, the sequel. The next book is a, another book that I won from Goodreads. And this is Alistair Grimm's Auditorium by Gregory Funero. Here's a picture. You can see that. Then we have the Iramonger trilogy by Edward Carey. We have Heap House. Here's some of the illustrations on the inside. Edward Carey writes and illustrates this book. There's Foulsham and Lungden. I have read Heap House and I really liked it so I can't wait to read the next two books. The next several books on the shelf is all part of the same series of The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making by Kathleen Valente. So we have that very long title, The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making. And this book also has illustrations in it. The little red tab there is where I left off. My son is actually in the middle of reading this series and he has enjoyed it immensely. Then there is the girl who fell beneath fairyland and led the revels there. Then we have the girl who soared over fa fairyland and cut the moon in two. Next is just the dust jacket because my son is actually reading this book right now. And it is the boy who lost fairyland. And the very last book in the series is called The Girl Who Raced Fairyland All the Way Home. I'm so excited to start this series. My son's been complaining that I haven't read enough middle grade in 2016, so I plan on reading a lot more in 2017. Seer of Shadows by Avi. Um, I think all of his books have some kind of paranormal nature to them or uh, fantastical, and I think they're all historical historical fiction as well. I'm not sure. That is the back side. Next we have Warren the 13th and the All-Seeing Eye, written by Tania Del Rio and illustrated by Will Stelly. And then we have What the Dickens by Gregory Maguire. This is a Tooth Fairy retelling. And then we have The Last of the Spirits by Chris Priestley. This is a retelling of A Christmas Carol. And then we have Any Witch Wall by Lauren Snyder. Um, my son read this one and he didn't really like it. And it's about a bunch of kids who find a wall and that wall is like a portal that can take them anywhere. We have The Empty Sleeve by Leon Garfield. This is a middle grade horror book. I think I'm not sure what it's about. I received this from a subscriber during the trade away and I can't wait to read it. It looks kind of like this man is a vampire. I don't know. I'm excited. What about these babies and all these keys? I'm not sure. Then we have Shadow House or The Gathering by Dan Pablocki. I read this in October. I absolutely loved it. The sequel comes out this month on the 27th, which I have already pre-ordered. And we have The Night Gardener by Jonathan Oxier. I can't, I can't pronounce his last name. Maybe that's correct. I'm not sure. But it's so pretty. Next, I have The Grave Robber's Apprentice by Alan Stratton. This one also has little pictures for the chapter heads. And we have The Terrible Thing That Happened to Barnaby Brockett. Um by John Boyne and illustrated by Oliver Jeffers. I really like Oliver Jeffers, so do my children. I think this is a middle grade contemporary and John Boyne is the same author that wrote The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. So I'm nervous that this is going to be a sad book. I hope it's not a sad book. Next is The Cabinet of Curiosities, 36 Tales Brief and Sinister by a whole bunch of different a middle grade slash YA authors. I'm really excited to read this um, short story collection. I love the cover. It's so whimsical and creepy. There are some illustrations. Um, this is also going to help me to be introduced to new middle grade authors. I really want to read this in January. Okay, and then I've already showed you guys this before, but this is Frog and Toad, The Treasury. Um, three books written and illustrated by Arnold Lobel. I loved these books when I was a 
little girl and these are some of my grandma's favorite books because her favorite animal is frogs. Um, yeah, so I had to buy that. And the next book I have here is The Misadventures of Benjamin Bartholomew Piff. Um, this is the second book in this Misadventures series. This is called Wishful Thinking by Jason Lethko. And my son got this from his grandma for Christmas last year, but this is the second book, so we still need to get the first one. And then what is middle grade without the Magic Tree House books. This is The Danger in the Darkest Hour by Mary Pope Osborne. And then we have Captain Underpants and the Terrifying Return of Tippy Tinkle Trousers by Dave Pilkey. Um, he owns three Captain Underpants books. Uh, this is, I don't even think this is middle grade. This is elementary school, but it's on this shelf. That is the ninth book in the series, Captain Underpants and the Tyrannical Retaliation of the Turbo Toilet 2000. Oh my gosh, I forgot it came with the glow-in-the-dark poster. <laughs> it fell off the wall uh, a few months ago. This one is the eleventh book. And then we have the twelfth book, Captain Underpants and the Sensational Saga of Sir stinks -a -Lot. All by Dave Pilkey. Okay, on to the second shelf. The first book we have here is House of Secrets by Chris Columbus and Ned Vizzini. We have the sequel, Battle of the Beast. I'm hoping my son likes this series. I think there's three books in all, maybe. And then we have here, Where the Sunbeams Are Green by Helen Phillips. This is about two sisters looking for their dad who went to South America. We have The Boundless by Kenneth Opal. Um, when I looked this up on Goodreads, it did say it was middle grade. I don't know, after I read it, I might uh, return it to my room. Not sure what age the main character is. And then we have Down the Mr. Lee River by Bill Willingham, um, illustrated by Mark Buckingham. I'm really excited to read this book. It's another adventure book about a boy and all of these animals. And then I have a book called Ben Fox, Squirrel Zombie Specialist at Your Service by Daisy Whitney. Um, this is a ARC, and I can't remember where I got this. I don't know if it was from a subscriber or it came in one of his um, subscription boxes. I have no idea. And then we have Rump, The True Story of Rumpelstiltskin by Liesel Shortliff. And then we have Jack, The True Story of Jack and the Beanstalk by Lysol Shirtliff. Next three books here are all part of a series. I think it's called the Samuel Johnson Trilogy um, by John Connolly. This is The Gates. I did read this two years ago, and it's about a boy who has to close hell. There was a portal from hell into his town, and he has to save the day by closing it. Then we have The Infernals. And the third book, The Creeps. Next we have a contemporary Summer and Bird by Catherine Catmull. Um, I'm pretty sure this is middle grade. Otherwise, it's, it's YA. But again, I looked on Goodreads and it said it was more middle grade than YA. Then we have Seven Dead Pirates by Linda Bailey. This is a ghost story. Then we have The Wandla Trilogy by Tony... Ditterlizzi. We have The Search for Wandla, A Hero for Wandla, and The Battle for Wandla. And this is all about a girl who lives underground with um, some animals um, because the earth was ruined, I think, and one day she decides she wants to go above ground and see what happens. The next two books are from the trilogy uh, a School of Good and Evil. I do not own the first one yet. I really want it, but it's never on Book Outlet. We have The School for Good and Evil, A World Without Princes. And I have the third and final book, The Last Ever After. This is by Simone Chinani. Chinani. And the last four books that back there that are really colorful, those are also part of a series that I haven't all of the books for. And this is called the Heck series. This is the third circle of Heck Blimpo by Dale E. Bassey. And then I have the fifth circle of Heck Snivel, where the whiny kids go. And then I have the sixth circle of Heck, 
Precocia, where the smarty pants kids go. And then I have the seventh circle of heck, wise acres, where the sassy kids go. So I still need one, two, and four. I'm really excited to read those because I love Dante's Inferno. Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. Uh, the Scandalous Sisterhood of Prick Willow Place by Julie Berry. Uh, this is a mystery book about all these girls in a boarding school and a dead teacher. Then we have The Thirteenth Sign by Kristen O'Dell Tubb. Then we have A Curious Tale of the In-Between by Lauren DeStefano. Uh, there's a little ghost boy down in the pond there. Or, yeah, I guess it's a pond. I believe there's three books in that series and they're all out. And then we have Lysol and Poe by Lauren Oliver. If you follow Richard Denny, he said it was a really good book, so I can't wait to read it. Look at that, I love that. I think all books should have a special cover. Next I have The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. Um, and then we have Knightley and Son, Solving Crime is Family Business by Rohan Gavin. Um, this is a mystery series. I, I think there's only two out. The other one is on Book Outlet, but I just haven't purchased it yet. And then we have Rooftoppers by Katherine Rundle. Um, this is such a pretty cover. I can't wait to read it. And the last books that were on this shelf is all of my son's Star Wars books. So we have Star Wars Smugglers Run, a Han Solo and Chewbacca adventure by Greg Ruka. Then we have Darth Paper Strikes Back, an Origami Yoda book. This is the second book in this um, origami series um, by Tom Engelberger. We still don't have the Yoda book, but we have all the other ones. Next is The Secret of the Fortune Wookiee. In the back of all of these books is how to actually make the um, origami. So this is how to make a fortune wookie. And my son made all of these over and over again. Again, this is probably not middle grade. This is probably an elementary school. This is Arts, Art 2 D2's Guide to Folding and Doodling. Then we have Surprise Attack of Jabba the Puppet. And then we have Princess Label Maker to the Rescue. And finally, Emperor Pickletine Rides the Bus. We are down to the last shelf here. Um, my tripod doesn't go this low, so I'm going to have to hold the camera. Hopefully it's not too shaky. first book we have here is The Tale of Despero by Kate DiCamillo. DiCamillo? Not sure. And then we have Tales of Terror from the Tunnel's Mouth by Chris Priestley. These are short story collections, and um, there's three of them. I think they're short story collections, unless this is one story per book. I can't remember. But <laughs> I bought these because I was really excited about the author's illustrations. And we have From the Black Ship or Tales of Terror from the Black Ship. And we have Uncle Montague's Tales of Terror. So that is the third book. Next we have Juniper Berry by M.P. Kozlowski, A Tale of Terror and Temptation. Oops, I think those kids find this um, weird tree. Next I have another book. This is Billy Creekmore by Tracy Porter. I read another book by Tracy Porter called The Lark, and it was a paranormal book, uh, book about a girl who turns into a tree after she is murdered and left in the woods. Um, I'm thinking that this book is going to also be a paranormal book. And then we have Fever 1793 by Lori Hulse Anderson. Um, I got this book for a dollar at the San Diego swap meet. Um, I recognize the author's name, but she did write Speak, and I didn't like that book, so I'm hoping I like this one. Next book we have here is Coraline by Neil Gaiman. This is a creepy middle grade about a girl who finds out she has a second set of parents with button eyes. Um, very creepy. And then we have James and the Giant Peach by Raul Dahl. 
and uh, illustrated by Elaine Smith. I read this last year and really enjoyed it. And then we have Dangerous Waters, An Adventure on Titanic by Gregory Mon or Moni. Um, this is a historical fiction, middle grade. I really can't wait to read it. And then we have Stranded by Jeff Probst, the host of Survivor. My son got this for free in one of his subscription boxes. I'm not sure if he's going to like it. We will see. It sounds silly. Alrighty, and what kid doesn't have Diary of a Wimpy Kid? The Last Straw by Jeff Keeney. Um, this is the only Wimpy Kid book my son has. I don't even know where he got it because I didn't buy it for him. Um, these are supposed to be really good books, so... Uh, maybe one day I'll pick it up. We'll see. Next we have The Peculiar Haunting of Thelma B by Erin Petty. I read this in October and really loved it. It's about a girl who finds out her father is stuck in a, like a ghost box and needs to figure out how to get him out. Then we have How to Survive a Sharknado and Other Unnatural Disasters by Andrew Schaefer. Um... This is an official guide to staying alive. I don't, this isn't a reading book, so I don't know why it's on this shelf, um, but it's pretty funny. Next is a series. First book in this series is Into the Mist. This is the Land of Elyon series, and this is actually the prequel to the other books by Patrick Carmen. Then we have The Dark Hills Divide. I don't know why I didn't take those stickers off. That's ugly. I'm gonna have to do that after this video. Oh yes, more stickers. This is book two, Beyond the Valley of Thorns. Then we have book three, The Tenth City. And the final book in the series, Stargazer. I first saw this series on Katrina's channel the little book owl and she said they were really good and they looked really cute on the covers and so it was really just a cover buy but um i'm excited to read this series then we have all 13 books of the uh series of unfortunate events by lemony snicket uh the book in the middle the fifth book is missing because it's in my room and i'm supposed to read it first book is the bad beginning book two is the reptile room Book three is The Wide Window. Book four is The Miserable Mill. I'm a perfectionist. I had to get it. This is the fifth book, The Austere Academy. And then we have the sixth book, The Ersatz Elevator. The seventh book, The Vile Villain. The eighth book, The Hostile Hospital. The ninth book, The Carnivorous Carnival. The tenth book, The Slippery Slope. The eleventh book, The Grim Grotto. The next book is The Penultimate Peril. This is book 12. And the 13th book, the final one of the series, The End. Fitting, don't you think? So that was the Lemony Snicket, um, The Unfortunate Events series. My son read all of them, not last summer, but the summer before. I think in like the, the whole summer. So it took him three months to read all those books. And he loved them. So that's what got him started on reading more series. Yes, as you can see, the shelf is upside down. I put it together and then I accidentally, <laughs> I accidentally uh, put the back on upside down. And then when I flipped it over, I realized my goof and I already had hammered the cardboard back onto it so I couldn't fix it. Oh well, such is life. The final books on that shelf is The Invention of Hugo Cabret by Brian Selznick. Next we have Bound for Oregon by Jean Von Leeuwen and this was a a book that my son had to read in fifth grade so now we have all of these little classics. And then we have My Brother Sam is Dead by James Lincoln Call Coiler or Collier and Christopher Collier. And my son said this was really sad. This is about the Civil War, I think. I'm pretty sure. And then we have The Sign of the Beaver by Elizabeth George Spear. So those three books he had to read last year in fifth grade. In fourth grade, they had to read Bridge to Terabithia. I saw the movie and it was really sad, so I won't read the book because I don't want to cry. 
and that is by Katherine Patterson. Next four books are all part of the same series. This is The City of Ember by Jeannie Dupro. We have book two, The People of Sparks. Book three, The Prophet of Yonwood. And book four, The Diamond of Darkhold. My son has read all of those books as well. That was all of my son's middle grade books. Some might be elementary school, but those are all of his books that I hope he will get to in the near future. Um, I also want to read all of them as well. Okay, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this bookshelf tour of my son and I's middle grade books. Let me know down below what books do you have read, what books I should add to this middle grade collection, and um, any other videos that you want to see. I haven't done a bookshelf tour in my bedroom yet for a year. Um, if you guys want one of those, maybe I'll do one during the Christmas break. Let me know. And that is it. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!